There's a change happening at the heart of big data, and its adoption has the potential to flip the historic paradigms that underpin one of the industry's largest assumptions on its head. The shift involves the most elemental question of how we work with data when we analyze it. Should this data be centralized in a single source of truth, and therefore should we move it from multiple sources into a single source, or can we leave it in multiple storage locations but access it centrally? It's a fork in the road with two polar opposite philosophies at play, to centralize the data itself or to centralize access to that data. This is the question of data integration versus data federation, of a single source of truth versus a single point of access. The former is associated with traditional data warehouse models, and the latter is becoming associated with modern data lakes, and particularly with the data analytics platforms that follow federation, like Starburst. Let's dive deeper to unpack these concepts and see what the shift towards a single point of access based on federation means for the users of that data and how data lakes fit into this picture. First, let's address the plurality of modern data. Data comes from many sources, not just one. Yet when we approach data analysis, we have traditionally attempted to create a single source of truth. Attempt is the key word here because the pursuit of a single source is almost never successful. This happens for several reasons. The first is technological. Moving data from multiple storage locations is time consuming and fraught with difficulties. In fact, the role of data engineering and data architecture is dedicated to solving precisely these problems. Different systems often involve different structures and other complexities that quickly become more complex the more data sources are involved. Moving data is expensive in the technical sense, requiring organizational and project management resources that often impede success. Second reason is economic. Moving data costs money, and in this sense, expense is not just technological, but also financial. In addition to ingress and egress fees, traditional data warehouses are costly to maintain and operate. The result is a spiraling cost that typically worsen as more data is added. There's a kind of paradox here. To gain insights from your data, you need to move more and more of it to a single location but to do so requires more and more effort to move more data from multiple locations, adding more and more costs. Suddenly the cost of each insight increases and the more successful you are in your project, the higher the costs become. Many companies find themselves in this exact situation, caught between the cost of operating a single source of truth model and the reality that new data is being generated every day by more and more sources. The result is often expensive, half-finished data warehouses alongside data silos and data swamps, data with poor management, poor oversight, and ultimately poor outcomes and insights. Is there another way? Yes, and it begins with flipping everything you thought you knew about big data. Instead of moving all data to a single location, you're going to leave it where it is. Better yet, if you need to move it at all, you're going to move it to the lowest cost storage solution possible likely a well-managed, modern data lake using cloud object storage. Welcome to the single point of access approach employed by Starburst Galaxy, allowing for heterogeneity and choice. It's a big shift from previous thinking, so let's dig into it and look at how the revolution is even possible before shifting to talk about technological and economic impacts. First, let's start with a single point of access. You can think of Starburst Galaxy as sitting on top of your entire data stack. From that vantage point, it's able to perform its role as an analytics platform. To Galaxy, different data sources are all equally valid as long as connectors exist. Connectors allow for the majority of big data technology, including databases, data warehouses, data lakes, and data lake houses, based on a variety of underlying storage systems. You can query in any environment or across all of these environments if you so choose. This means that you can access a Snowflake data warehouse just as easily as an AWS S3 data lake running Iceberg. You can throw in a Postgres relational database or a MongoDB NoSQL database, add in streaming support for a number of technologies including Kafka and integration with application data, and the dream of accessing multiple systems through one central system becomes much more real. What does this give you? In a word, options. There's an inherent openness in the single point of access approach that's missing from the ground level on the traditional single source of truth approach. Organizations become free to make the choices that they want based on the value that the underlying systems provide. And although Starburst Galaxy works with many different systems, it works particularly well on modern data lakes running modern open table formats using cloud object storage. 
Although we support any and all configurations available, the technological advantage of having a data lake allowing for schema on read rather than schema on write alongside the significant cost savings is a substantial benefit in the column of data lakes. Having data options, optionality as we call it here, amounts to letting you and your organization use the right technology at the right time. This typically benefits the whole organization as allows for difference, growth, and change. In the old single source of truth model, these things can cause fractures in the foundation of a monolithic approach. In a single point of access approach, each new data source is like a new thread in the tapestry of an organization's data story, and the more threads the better allowing you to choose the right approach now and in the future.